Happy Women's Week 2022. And to celebrate women, I have someone very special joining me. But first things first, who am I? I am Samita, founder and owner of Melbourne-based label Dida Eco Gifts Online. I bring you fashion and lifestyle videos with a focus on sustainability. Hello. 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 Hello, Marva. Come hello, through. Hello, Samita. How wow, are you? It's, it's such a delight to see you. And I <laughs> can see that you've come with all your, all the goodies Styling in your, <laughs> yeah, all the goodies in your bag. Yes. And this yes. is exciting. So guys, this is Marva Reader. She is a, a top-notch uh, stylist, fashion stylist from Melbourne. And let's see, I mean, she will be doing some magic this afternoon. Facebook Live that I will have Marwa Rida joining me. So I've got quite a few questions, you know, from my Mail Club members, the Dida Rati members, which is the Dida Mail Club. And the most common one, the on top of the list was a question that, you know, many of us, we are working from home. And when we are working from home, we have to dress for comfort. But we also have to be ready for, let's say, Zoom presentations, virtual meetings, going to the shopping strip for a coffee. Yes. Um, so as a stylist, how would you say that we dress up without spending oodles of money, uh, being reasonably dressed, but at the same time, uh, be comfortable? So for summer, especially, uh, the easiest way to dress up while you're working from home is to wear a dress or a kaftan and sanita has got some beautiful kaftans here behind me they're all cotton and breathable and the idea with kaftans is it's easy to dress up or down and so if you have that zoom meeting that you just basically wear your kaftan accessorize uh, put some makeup on uh, to be presentable and if you're going to have to run to the shops to meet a girlfriend well grab a bag and put your thongs on if you want to be a relaxed look or put a heel on and that's basically one of the easiest way to dress up for this season and uh, of course if you're more into uh, like more lounge wear then that's another ball game which you can wear t-shirts and something comfortable at the bottom the, so slouchy pants are are quite in but you can also wear them with thongs and they're cotton um you know something cottony and breathable is the best way to go um the next question on the list is from a woman who has a bun in the oven like you know, yeah. she is um, expecting yes. her first child and she is working as well. You know, as modern day mums, we have to juggle so many things. He will be working till the very end. Mm -hmm. And that's what she's been asking that Samita, how do I dress uh, while I am growing um, till the very end and I can still be comfortable, um, I can look presentable. Uh, and then I go about my schedule, my day, without feeling frustrated or hot or, you know, uh, uh, experiencing some kind of discomfort. Yes. What would you say she should do? Yes. So for that, you have to really consider the fabrics you're wearing. So cotton is the go-to for many expecting mothers because having a bun in the oven means your body heats easily. And so you really need to consider the fabric. Cotton linen is the way to go and something flowy, easy to wear. Again, kaftans are a fabulous way to dress up without putting much effort and the choice of fabric will make a huge difference. But if you get cold, uh, for example, and you're going to the office and you don't want to want to wear a short kaftan, you can also wear cotton leggings under and there's that's an option for you. 
Yeah, yeah. And some flowy dresses, the yes. unstructured kind of dresses, yes. isn't it? Yes. I thought so. Marwa, as you know that thankfully we are, um, I think it's the rainbow at the end of the tunnel. We have finally, I wouldn't say totally, but largely, you know, overcome the the C word. Mm. So we are all vaccinated. We've started traveling and uh, Australians particularly love traveling. And mm. I mean, so would everyone all over the world. Yes. So now that we've started traveling, what would be your top five tips for a travel wardrobe? You know, when you're traveling, how do you pack? How do you maximize different looks with say minimum outfits, you know, um, going to the beach, uh, going trekking, going from let's say morning to evening. Um, I would really look forward to some top tips from a top stylist. Thank you so much, Samita. So uh, travel is big on everyone's agenda after COVID. And of course, with summer in a lot of parts of the world. So your summer wardrobe is essential in travel and caftans. Again, I keep referring to caftans because okay. you cannot have <laughs> summer without caftans and flowy summer dresses yeah. and shorts and T-shirts if you're into that. But uh, I, I, for one, prefer dresses and caftans. And I believe that the fabric again makes a difference. It's the breathable breathability of the fabric, and uh, some fabrics are also non-crease, so that's yeah, easy for I travel. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. And so the, the one of the tips is to really consider the color palettes you're packing. Uh, so consider yourself in a fashion mag. This is really a tip that will help you. And so if colors are quite work together you can mix and match between different items and that will give you a variety of looks to uh, ensure that you have more than one outfit using more than one item uh, sorry using one item uh, and uh, with that obviously yeah, the fabrics as well as i mentioned uh, accessories make a big difference so just think about the type of shoes you'd be taking with you and uh, yeah the type of bags with summer it's all about easy going laid back at least in australia it's all laid back <laughs> <laughs> it's always laid back i think yeah. <laughs> summer or winter <laughs> <laughs> yeah but more in summer you're right yeah, more in summer <laughs> summer is so much easier to travel in because the fabrics and clothes are lighter and so you can fit more uh in less true if that makes a difference yes that's because that would be a top tip isn't i like to travel light yeah as you mentioned no crease you know crease free kind of clothing and with international travel and even domestic for that matter lightweight yeah. lightweight easy to pack easy to carry yes i think yeah and just a few nice uh, just roomy bags would uh, make a lot of difference yeah. isn't it yeah. yeah well i'll be showing you a few of uh, yeah. dida's uh, uh, caftans here but also scarves are huge of course in summer the light scarves because you can wear them as a caftan you can wear them as a wraparound yeah. around your uh, uh, bathers and you can basically do a lot with it. You can even turn a scarf into a top. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, you can actually. There are so many different ways of, of wearing a scarf. It's yeah. a sarong, it's like a halter top. Yes. Uh, extremely yeah. versatile. If you ask me, I mean, what's my top accessory? So no prizes for guessing, it'll be a scarf. Yeah, okay. mine too. <laughs> yeah. The next one, just as we were talking about transformations and uh, especially when I travel, I go to trade shows and uh, official travel and I have to be very, I'm very busy during the day and I have to go straight away in the evening for let's say a dinner, a kind of a meet and greet and I have to have a couple of dresses or be able to carry on from morning till evening with, a, with let's say a, um, let's say minimum change you know with yes. the same outfit maybe how do I accessorize so that I look a little more formal you know a little more glam yes. for the evening yes and during the day it's just meetings it's just meeting clients it's all very official yes and uh, in the evening you know, I would like to let my hair down mm -hmm. but at the same time I have to be mindful that it's an official trip how do I go about that? So there's been a question that how do we go 
from morning to evening without spending much time we do not have time to change or you know completely change our makeup our outfits so yes. let's say in a jiffy in about 15 minutes how do we make that um, powder room kind of transformation I think it will take you five minutes okay. because all you need That's to great. do <laughs> even better <laughs> All you need to do is actually uh, swap your accessories, swap your shoes. You know, it's great that now uh, runners, different types of runners are acceptable as a day look with dresses. Yeah. And so that's great for trade shows to have an life elevated saving. runner. Life saving. <laughs> yes, life saving for all women. All women love it. But if you're going out for dinner after, swap your shoe for a heel, uh, add more accessories, add a denim jacket if you want, or a leather jacket if you're wearing a dress it depends on the weather of course mm. um, and yeah just accessorize and that's how yeah. you don't have to even change your clothes and you know makeup of course <laughs> yeah yeah and you are going to show us a few looks isn't it yes so I at will. the end of this video so guys uh, just watch the video till the very end when marva will actually give, give a few you know she'll work on a few styles she'll present a few looks to you so she'll give a live demonstration so just don't go away because you will be missing something spectacular if you leave right now what would you say what would be your favorite accessories you know can you just name a few or you know point towards a few accessories the must have accessories in any woman's wardrobe definitely uh, especially summer earrings uh, sunnies um, bags of course you cannot leave your home without a bag uh, bangles just be conscious that if you are wearing earrings uh, don't wear too much um, necklaces and maybe the bangles because that's you know a bit further down in your body and yeah it's really about what you like because everyone's different but for me i can't leave the house without my earrings i feel i'm bare mm -hmm. uh, and earrings so, are so huge at wearing. the moment so. yeah, exactly and i love wearing <laughs> earrings yeah. so how to accessorize a dress for example this is a beautiful the dress it's got some beads here and so the idea to elevate the look of the dress of course you can wear it without that bolero little vest bolero um, however if we add that vest it just covers up a bit of the shoulders and I've accessorized by popping more gold and it's got a bit of a navy look to it however if you add like accessories it makes a huge difference to the look and you, you can go with one bangle or two depends how much your foot what you're feeling like really and pop some rings on and that's one of the looks and you would wear heels with this one or flats so again because because there's a lot of beading happening you would think of the heel see how this looks Straight away, this looks really good and elevated for an office. You're going out to see a girlfriend or you're going to the office. You can still wear this. And next would be this beautiful flowy dress, which is great for travel. And it's easy. It's like it wouldn't crease very easily and see how the, all the colors just go beautifully. You'd need a black slip under this or a nude slip, or if you're wearing it with your swimmers, then that's okay. But if you're wearing it uh, as an elevated look for going out to dinner, especially in a resort uh, kind of environment, so you would uh, basically consider the undergarments. I would go with a strapless bra for this. Uh, and uh, if I am conscious about my arms, I'd put this little bolero on. And I'm go going for a bit of a boho look with this, like with the styling. So hence the really beaded long necklace and a couple of bangles. And well, and for the morning, you'd wear the sunnies. Uh, you would also use a clutch of some sort. But since this is a boho, I'd, I'd actually tie in a bit of the baskety tone. Uh, is it called weaved basket? And you can go with either heel 
Again, this black heel with studs elevates the look straight away. However, if I'm tying in the boho chic vibe, I'd go more with that cane look because it ties it in beautifully. But of course, it's all about what you feel like. And of course, it's not summer without blues. Oh, it is one of my favorite colors. And I love this tie-dye caftan by Samita. Straight away, my eyes go to this. And I've done again the beads, um, very natural stone, and you can't have enough blue. So add some rings, add some bangles, some earrings. Oh, and this is so beautiful on if you're wearing this during the daytime, you'd wear it with a flat thong and uh, an anklet, which is very summery and goes with the shades beautifully. And also a hat if you've got one. And of course, sunnies. This is absolutely beautiful for that resort vibe as well. Next, I'll do a pop of color with the orange. Again, so pretty. You can, yeah, basically think of the color palette you're working with. So this is orange. You would use either whites as accessories or orange or natural tones. And so this would also work really well with it. That long necklace, it'll give it a bit of a boho vibe as well. And you can see I've accessorized with this and you can go with either flats or heels with this one, or even a tan, because orange goes really well with browns as well. You put some of this out, and yes, of course, an earring. I think I had two earrings for this, two different ones. For that one, you can go with a natural, I don't know if you can see them there, or a pop of gold to elevate the look. And next we have the black, black and white. It's such a classic and this is, this caftan especially is very good for uh, expecting mothers and nursing moms because of the zip at the front and it's very flowy. However, that doesn't mean that you need to wear it flowy. You can always, depends how far you are. If you are an expecting mom, you can always tie it up above the bun and elevate the look. And obviously the sunnies, I'd wear them, but I'm already wearing stuff. <laughs> uh, and that would be an option. And of course, this, this piece is really beautiful because it's black and white, which means you can wear it to the beach, but you can also wear it to the office. Again, a slip under, because if it's see-through, it's not see-through. However, if you want more coverage, you would wear a slip or you don't want any of your bits to show, you'd wear a slip under. And then you can also elevate this look with this heel. So imagine if this was on, how pretty it will look. And yeah, this of course, pops pops of gold, it depends on your coloring. However, pops of gold is really good with black and white. It basically adds an element of interest and elevates your look. We also have this little piece here, which is very similar to the other one, but it's a, just a bigger print. And so um, bigger prints are more of a statement. So I would actually consider how much more accessories I need with this caftan. For me, less is more with that. I would do a sunny, maybe a bangle if I have one in white. Well, it doesn't have to be white, it can even be this. And again, you can go for the black heels or even tone it down with a tan, which with a tan flat or even tan heels, because that will, will 
feel like you're not wearing shoes because the idea will bring focus back on the design of the caftan. We have this beautiful caftan too. And that one is more of a dressy caftan. It's beautiful, it's got all the beads in it already. And you can see that the neckline itself has this necklace kind of feel. So it's already elaborate and it's telling you, I don't need much up here. And so with this caftan, again, if you're wearing it out to the beach with your swimmers under, then just wear it as it is with thongs. However, if you're wearing it to dinner, then you've got to wear um, a slip under, whether white or black or nude, all depends on your coloring and what you prefer. And to elevate the look, I would put that bangle on, uh, get a color, pick a color from this color range. I've picked gold because it's the least color. And so that straight away, straight away that picks up the gold in this dress with the earrings and the blues in the, um, in the bangle has a bit of gold so it picks that up as well and a statement ring and I would wear this one with tan flats and of course last but not least we have a variety of scarves here and I've chosen this red one to highlight red and black and white so with that um, i have a red top under and you can really play around with a scarf you can make it as part of your look you can wear it draped down or you can drape it across your shoulder and turn it into a bolero like if i do this and wear it to the side basically that would cover uh, your shoulders and again because we're wearing red i thought we'd pop a red a pop of red earring and this could be one with black pants because of course you're tying the outfit together and so you think about the color palette you're working with you've got red off-white and black and so these are the colors you would tie in and again there was a black pants you're, uh, pants you're wearing, so this would look really good together. And this is the last one for today. Thank you, Samita, and Learn with Samita for having me today on your show. It's been an absolute pleasure showing you ways to dress for resort wear or for working from home or for gatherings with your friends during this beautiful time of year. Uh, for any styling tips, please visit New Life by Design or to connect with me, visit New Life by Design on Instagram or Facebook and the links will be below. Thanks a lot for having me and look forward to hearing from you.